Hi everyone, Engineer Liu here. So let's move forward on our series of tutorials on the C programming language. On the last tutorial, we've seen uh, the if statement, how to do. Uh, let me show you here how to work with uh, conditional statements with uh, if else and how to uh, evaluate uh, different operators such as uh, equal operator less than or equal greater than equal greater than less than different and or and so on and uh, we we kind of see uh, a foreshadowing of uh, of this this current video the video of today topic which how we can really get uh, cumbersome if you have uh, many nested if, if statements such as if else if else if else if so we can see and we will see now how we can uh, obtain a workaround on that uh, by using another C keyword which is called uh, switch it's we will see how to work with switch case statements okay so we create as always another uh, c file example 7.c and we will write uh, as usual our boilerplate code stdio.h for now we only be using this c library but in the future we'll be using uh, another C libraries but for now we just uh, we just uh, get uh, limit, limit ourselves to this one okay so we declare here an integer called num and then uh, we query the user to enter uh, enter a number between uh, let's see uh, one and I don't know uh, five let's not get too worked up here and uh, so we print uh, we use the scanf to read this number which will be an integer and we store this integer on the num variable uh, last video i didn't talk about about this operator right here so this operator here the he, the commercial actually it refers to the pointer to this variable here okay so as I said in other videos, pointers will be a subject to a future video since it's a more complicated topic, but we'll get to that eventually. Um, so basically we are storing, uh, we are pointing to this address in memory where this int integer value we created, uh, integer variable we created is stored. And then the we will store uh, from the user input here okay so now we use switch uh, case so now we, we will be using switch on the on this variable here oops okay so switch num and let's say case um, when num is equal to one and then we print uh, you typed uh, one and then case two print f you typed two here we can actually wrote a function for this but let's just do some uh, brute force here as we'll see functions later on this course you type 3 case 4 uh, you type 4 and then case 5 print 
it typed five finally and as all uh, if uh, switch case statements we have to write a default uh, case here so to enter uh, the number you enter you typed is not valid okay so in all of these cases here we actually have to type this keyword here break so basically break it will uh, make uh, the code logic the code uh, sequence uh, exits this uh, switch case here so we don't check for these and other cases here we'll see in a minute what will happen if you don't type uh, break so here we have break and then break here break as well break and here also break and then uh, we can print uh, code was executed successfully and we end our program okay so write and quit so GCC all warnings example 7.c dash o example 7 dot o and uh, okay so we made an error uh, here we missed the semicolon remember you have to enter to finish your statements with semicolon and then we execute it and okay there's seems to have occurred everything fine and we execute it and let's type a number between one and five let's type two you type two okay that's seems reasonable one four three five and then let's see if we type a number which is different you know the number you you went to you the number you type is not valid. this changes uh, here it's Okay, so we compile and execute it and then okay so this is basically what the switch case does uh, if you know Python uh, in Python you, you get to uh, you can implement something similar to this by using uh, various uh, if and elif 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 and then else so in uh, I believe it's JavaScript and C, C++, you can get to use the switch loop, which is, uh, you can write more clean code, more uh, code that is more e easy to read. But uh, let's see what happens if we actually um, uh, remove one of these breaks here, okay? Let's see what will happen. So we remove the break from case two, and then let's uh, compile, run. Let's type one. Okay, nothing changed here. Two. Oh, okay, so now we have a problem. So as you can see here, uh, since we didn't break the loop here, uh, this code, this line of code was executed since we type error. Uh, number equals two but then it switched the uh, it went directly to the next case which was case three and then it printed the you you type it in, uh, three and then it break and went outside the switch case loop here okay so let's see if we for example uh we had uh we remove even this break over here and we try to run this code and you can as you can see it also went uh, it went to he entered this case here case two 
and they printed this one this one and then it went outside the switch loop with the break statement so make sure if you want your program to don't uh, to make sure it doesn't execute the other cases there might be uh, eventually some code logic that you might want to it went it went to it to your program to go from one case to another but usually you have to um, type break before uh, type break after uh, or your code logic has been executed for that particular case so let's insert break again here and leave this just to case two out and we compile run and two okay missing problem and three as you can see uh, no no problem at all uh, let's see one final example what happens if uh, you have still the break uh, keyword here in case three but then uh, in case four you remove it so what will happen compile and run so one okay two you type two you type three and then three four so you can see how it can get really messy here okay so let's try to understand what happened this time two and you try type three uh okay so uh, it went ignore this one here and then a break here and then type uh, print this two lines here and then execute the code but if we type uh, three uh, it still has the break here so we execute it uh, it executes it's ex it is executed uh, correctly and if type 4 and then as we don't have the break here it goes straight to um, 5 so what happens if we remove all breaks here what will happen can you guess think a little bit while I compile So let's enter one. Okay. So basically, what happened is as we enter this case, uh, this case was executed, and then this one, this one, this one, and then only in the default case where it's neither one of these cases where it's uh, either one, two, three, or five, three, one, two, three, four, or five, and then it breaks and uh the switch statement it's uh quitted it's exited and let's try with another one two and then same thing but starting at two and with three and same thing and what happens if we remove uh, even this break here what do you think it will happen when we execute this so compile the warnings the errors and let's type I don't know one well we kind of executed all uh, our code here so can we just leave this without a break so let's insert break here and then break and another break and then okay so let's try to run that one everything fine two three 
4 and let's try with 6 the number of enters is not valid so it exceeded the code and the same with 7 I don't know some big number okay so apparently uh, you can leave uh, this case here without a break the default case without a break but as you can see if we uh, type break here we obtain the same results oops okay so that's uh, the basic basically it from uh, switch case here we enter inside parentheses uh, the variable we are analyzing and then we will be evaluating each case and then here we enter uh, the number the value of accordingly to the variable if this was a char we then uh, for example if we we could use uh, I don't know something like this char num and then we read a char here and then, then we have to do something like this because we are evaluating a char in a if statement in a sorry in a switch statement so num is now a char a character and we compile run let's type uh, one type one two three four five and then I don't know okay so we got a problem here what happened here why it uh, think the program interpreted that we entered two well because char in C is actually a single byte so it was expecting a single byte and this uh, this here is it is interpreting as a string and this string it has more than one bytes at C if we for example enter seven then it would actually go to correct case so in case you are you want C to uh, handle uh, uh, strings uh, charts uh, an array of charts with the value with length greater than one byte then we actually we have to read a string here instead of a char okay so this is basically what happened here uh, C ignored all this uh, characters here and just read this one let's try with another one next for example four four I don't know yeah he ignored completely these characters here and only read this one so for this tutorial this is basically it hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a comment like subscribe and uh, I don't know recommend this video for someone who, who may be interested and is a beginner at programming at C language uh, see you next time. Bye.